last week simply i i directed the police chief to treat protesters demonstrators as city sponsored what does that mean it means that we're working hard to ensure public safety versus playing a traditional law enforcement role this was and continues to be a strategic effort to de-escalate tension this has led to our police officers working and staging a block behind protesters over the past week or so in an effort to divert traffic around protest activities. This has worked in some cases, but as we've all heard, not, not in all, not in all cases. This was done knowing full well that the approach would not be embraced by all. And I can attest uh, personally, many of the people calling my office are simply furious. I've spoken to about half a dozen or so business and property owners just yesterday, and I've heard a lot from them. I'll continue returning calls, but uh, understand I do have a backlog of calls, but uh, I will be, again, reaching back to people. Uh, on a parallel track with all of that activity, we have been meeting with protester leadership all week, um, starting with uh, a good conversation the mayor and Mr. Vine had on Monday, we've had three consecutive days of conversations, again, face to face with leadership. Another one is planned tomorrow morning. I would say that uh, I'm hopeful that the community has witnessed over the past two nights, much quieter evenings. And I would simply state that that is not accidental. Again, face to face meetings are happening. I believe we're making some good progress. Certainly a lot more work to do progress nonetheless. The city's approach and de-escalation efforts to be sustainable though must continue to be met with reciprocal de-escalation by all sides. The escalation in this situation needs to be mutual and reciprocal to be sustainable. Ultimately these efforts near term from my perspective are meant to ensure safety for our community, our visitors, and protesters. Again safety as the priority. I appreciate the work and patience of our police force, our residents, business owners, and visitors. This patience on all sides will be critical in us moving from anger to progress. I'd like to take just a simple minute to offer special thanks to Officer Monaghan, who has taken his personal time to engage protesters personally to build relationship, a relationship of trust that trust is definitely needed moving forward. Uh, they have very specific, very specific demands. And I'll tell you exactly what they are. One is they would like to see the charges expunged. Uh, I believe there are 51 charges pending with our Commonwealth attorney. Um, two, they would like to see the whomever made the decision to use tear gas. Um, they would like to see that identified and acknowledged. Um, and um, they would also like to have um, and, and made accountable, and they would like to have a formal apology. And I am working, um, actually, I've distributed a document to some of you, and I will distrib distribute it further in, in the next few days. Um, those were the three main um, immediate steps expressed to us, but more importantly, there's the broader issue, the broader issue of looking at racial discrimination, as unfortunately it has existed for too long in this country, the broader issue of looking at telling a much better job of telling our history and what happened to and from and the contributions of African Americans in our community. Um, the, the mutual concern of taking a look at our policies and um, and and most most specifically a full report and to move forward with this particular the the strategy of this plan is to address immediate concerns but most but much more importantly to involve the greater community, to have a real conversation and a real commitment to addressing 
injustice, racial injustice and, and racial discrimination. Um, and that's a, that's, a, that's a big, broad topic, but we have some very specific things we can do. We need the entire community to join in. We offer the entire community the opportunity to participate, to participate in community-wide meetings. We need to be really honest with each other and communicate constantly with each other. We want to address reforms and with the help of the entire community, write the next chapter of our rich history. We have contributed much to this nation. We can contribute again by addressing this issue, these issues, frankly and honestly. So I look forward to our review. I look forward to our report. I look forward to all our future um, communications with the public. And I look forward to continuing to meet with um, the leaders of our, our various groups who are making many suggestions that we are taking seriously.